Hey there, buddy. This is Conquest, and I'm back. It's been a while. I tried doing a Let's Play of this not too long ago, but it was such a pain to actually edit all the stuff together that I sort of just stopped after one and then deleted the one because it wasn't really that great. But I've actually got some halfway decent recording software, or I should. I mean, this is the first thing I'm going to be doing with it, so let's see. Where is the... There it is. I figure for Let's Play purposes, I should just go with the, uh, just the basic 3x3, like, three three, if that thing with a piece of dirt on it. I forget exactly what it is, but. I generally use Morby Cottage for this, <laughs> for two reasons. One, it's fairly large, and secondly... It has the Jaded Cat NPC that I'm not sure if it's, if that is somewhere else that I can just grab. Oh, that is loud. Turn that down just slightly. Just a, just a skosh. Good enough. So because this is a normal map, I start with two things with bone meal. So this is basically just, lore-wise, this is basically, you finished the last one, and so you just moved on to this one. Okay. So there are plenty of quest lines in here to do, so this is, if I actually stick with this to the end, it's going to be a very long series. Okay, so just the basic first quest. Make planks. Then give a plank. This is not a very good pick. I believe it actually hurts you when you use it. It's kind of slow, and you get a better pick later, so I'm going to get this pan. Also, you can cook things with the pan. Okay, I just turned down my actual headphone volume. Hopefully that will... I, mean, I don't know how loud it is on the recording. I think I set it to where the microphone is like two to three times as loud as the, the game recording, so it probably was it somewhat okay anyway, but I it was killing me. I'll adjust it before the next one. I mean, the first thing I want to do before I get into the other quest is I want to extend this platform out just a tiny bit. So that I don't... lose any saplings. And to that end, I'm going to start building it out of slabs. Because A, I get like twice as many of them, and B, monsters cannot spawn on them. Also, it has a nice depth effect. Can you back that slab? Oh, I was not actually expecting to get both of those back. Before I forget. I always do that for these because, it, I mean, it, if you if you fall off in, into the void and just lose everything, you're basically just totally totally boned completely. So I turn that on so that I, can, I at least keep the stuff and am not boned. Maybe not not from that anyway. I'm generally boned from something else. Okay. Just a couple of more logs worth of slabs should do it. I just wanted to get the, get it two more out. I think that's probably about what I want. Probably should have made it made one crook or something, but. You think I planned this or something? Okay, good enough. I got plenty of saplings. I can afford wasting one or two. Maybe I shouldn't stand directly on top of the thing. There we go. Okay. And three. I will use these to make. To make more slabs, and I will use that one to make 
a crook. At least one. I know I can make two out of that one. And I'll, I mean, I'll make my living arrangements nicer as time goes on. It's just for this basic first bit. And just as a disclaimer, I don't blame anyone who wants to just skip ahead a few parts. This first bit's generally rather boring. So, I mean, it's kind of tedious to mean to do, even. Okay. And while I'm thinking about it, I do have Vein Miner on on this install I have on, but I will try not to use it. But if suddenly it just does that, I'll. It's because I've forgotten about it. I don't know. I may I may only like use it for the Nether ores because they do the that them exploding thing and that sort of bullshit. And I somewhat have a phobia of bugs that make the sound hellfish and silverfish do. More than that, so let's just move this over a little bit. Get the tree some breeding room. Okay, now what's next? Right, the tinker stuff. I will need at least one more tree for that. This shouldn't take as long after I finish the tinker's quest line because I'm wanting to say you have to make most of the flint axe. Which I'm wanting to say flint is the three gravel... Yeah, that's a, I'm never sure if that's actually a recipe in these recent mod packs. Some, some of it is, some of it isn't. I, mean, I don't think that's like a vanilla thing or anything. But... Okay. How many did I get? Six, that's definitely enough. So I only need a chest, a crafting bench, a plank, and a log. In addition to stencils. To make all of the things and all of the blocks I need. Have I got any silkworms yet? I have, good. Then I think I, what I'm gonna do is expand over to the side a little bit and make another tree and get that one silkwormed up. Let's just say here-ish. I mean, it's not the most ideal, but I'm just wanting to get this going so that it will be ready when I need it to be. And begin. Okay. Might as well plant that while I'm just standing here. Need to save one. No more, no less. Okay, and the chest, and a crafting bench. One, two, three, and four. I don't remember if the flint thing is part of this one. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Okay, then. Uh, I have a very specific order I put these in. Pattern chest, part builder, stencil table, and tool station. So I can make the stencil, put it in a chest, draw it out of the chest, make these parts, and then the tool station. It's really just a matter of preference. Uh, just slap those in there, make the basic first ones. And I would make just a tool rod, but I mean, for this first while, I'm just going to be using sticks, probably. Okay, flint, axe head. That should complete the quest. Now, I have played at least a decent amount of Agrarian Skies 2 previously. So I'm going to go with the milk bottle, because I know milk is needed for a future quest. 
and they basically deluge you with spawn eggs. I do not remember if chickens are those, or in those spawn eggs, but I do remember that my mob trap spawned chickens occasionally, so worst case, I can just do that. It's not like those are guaranteed to have them in there anyway. I also get bottles. And aluminum more. Okay. Old McDonald. That one is... Oh. Well, that got dark quick. Right then. I have no sticks. It's never really a problem I have in Minecraft. Except in very rare instances. What am I doing? I hate, I hate, hate it when I think it's one of the things that lets you do that, but... There we go. This should be a lot faster now. Let me make sure the vein miner is, in fact... Okay. I don't believe that it works with the Tinker's tools unless I manually add them. I'm pretty sure it's still in here. It was last time I checked. But, again, not gonna use it. If I can help it. Oh, it's so dark. What was I doing? Crook. Right. Four crooks should last me a decent while, and I was afraid that would happen. But, no, no damage done. Where the, the silkworm tree would merge with this tree. It's not like I can't just crook them apart next time anyway. Okay. I was wondering what that was. I couldn't quite place it in the dark. I thought it was something a little bit further over there, just sort of floating it from the void. Okay, what was I doing? Crooks. Not crooks. Sticks. Crops. Easiest quest ever. And it may be tempting to get potato seeds, but you can get them from sieving dirt. It's just a 1% chance. This is a matic that's really good, and also... It's a very good weapon. So I, I generally take that one. Okay, so I just need one string to complete that quest. Easy peasy. That's why I had that tree going. And it might have been tempting to get those, but... A, they have a higher drop rate from dirt than I think these. But B, I should have gotten a couple seeds from... The crop, yeah, from the crops quest. I need to make a chest. Just for the sake of visibility, I'm going to make it dawn. I will not do that once I have a big, either a big enough platform or torches going. But I don't know how dark it is in the video, and it's not like anything can spawn on this platform to begin with. Unless I make it just a little bit bigger. So, there's no real reason I shouldn't. Yeah, I've already got a spawn egg. I mean, I, I think it's just the beginning quest. Like, I generally end up with two of everything, at least. I know I don't want to put the bone meal in there. I'm not doing crops quite yet. Mm. Did not notice I had that. But well, that reminds me, I will want to make a couple of barrels to get rain. I don't remember if it rains near the beginning in this one. But I don't enjoy using the rainmakers because they explode and it's horrible. It's an easy enough problem to fix. I just move, I just like go a couple blocks out with something. That I don't particularly care about, like wood. I mean, it blows up a couple of blocks around it. I don't know the exact radius. No, don't infest this tree. Infest the, the one you're doing, even though you're almost done. Hate it when it's just slightly out of reach. Oh. It's just barely within reach. Never mind. Oh. 
Okay. So it shouldn't be that much longer before the, that tree is done. But in the meantime, I am going to make some barrels. Three, to be specific. Two for water, one for dirt. And this is bugging me. And this is the reason I generally don't build out of slabs, is this. It bothers me. But it's easy enough to work around. Just do that. There. I think it's just these last two that are doing it. Okay, what next? Barrels. Okay. Well, I can basically make two, just two dirt right now. So I might as well, I mean, I've got plenty of saplings left over. I might as well start cooking this tree. Because I need to make a sieve for this, for both the string quest and the one I was just looking at. Because that's how you get the your first cobblestone is little bits of stone in the in the dirt. But I mean you generally get a pretty decent amount of string from these trees. Just say nothing of the giant trees. Oh man. String for days. So it should it be entirely done by now. Unless I'm just missing part of it that was wasn't even started yet or something. That one on the top always bothers me because it's hard to get, but I feel like I need to for completion purposes. There we go. Okay. 23 string. I've had better, but I've had worse. Let's just go ahead and pick that up so that I can stand here. And because, I mean, that's enough string to make the first sieve. Or it should be. Let's see if I remember the recipe to this. I mean, I'm, I'm like 99% certain I do. And sticks. Beautiful. Now let's put it there so that it's not as in danger of falling off the edge. So I have that, as long as I have the one dirt, I'm fine. I just need to make, is it one cobble? Yes. Do not know how good that is, but I am fond of this. So I could be missing out on a really good thing, but I don't really use the crossbows much anyway, so. And I kind of could use a pick. Okay. So, man, I'm going to need a decent amount of dirt to do this with, to begin with, anyway, so. Okay. Well. Let's just go three out. That should be enough. I really hate these. I mean, they're good for getting rain, but... And they kind of look cool. Yeah, that's why I don't do it like the middle of my platform. It's because I think I did that once, not thinking, surely this won't like explode on me. How did I get hurt? Did that actually hurt me exploding from a distance? Well... Okay, what's next? Ah. This one's easy enough. May not be the best idea to... I'll take it. To... Use my first cobble on this quest. I don't remember if I need this for... 
Like if I need to do this quest to do the lo uh, cobble gen easier, but it doesn't take that long. Mm, yeah, I don't need another rainmaker, but I could use some clay and grinding. I need quartz for that. So that's out of my reach. Um, okay. The rain's getting on my nerves. Oh, it's getting about 25 minutes or so. I'm going to call this episode here and I'll be right back in a moment. Stick around.